Effects Impacts of Hospitalization on Patient and Family Introduction Hospitalization is a stressful event for both the patient and the family. Patients and families may experience feelings ranging from fear of the unknown to complete loss of control. These feelings complicate the clinical situation and detract from the development of a healing environment. Physicians and other healthcare providers should address these stresses directly and provide an environment designed to preserve patient and family control. In the modern concept of hospitalization there is provision for visiting room, rooming in, care by parent, parent support group, and self-care and play facilities in hospitals. Impact of hospitalization on patient's family. Physiological impact. Trembling. Coarse or wavery voice. Restlessness. Irritability. Withdrawal. Erratic body movement. Aggressive behavior. Psychological impact. Role changes. Separation from the family member. Patient. Other people taking care of their family member. Patient. Feeling of inadequacy. Anxiety and anger. Disappointment. Guilt. Emotional impact. Feels that illness is due to someone error and committed fault. Illness is due to punishment of God. Illness is due to family's neglect or lack love. Impact on sibling. Cared by neighbors or grandparents or relatives. Separation anxiety. Role changes. Lack of parental affection. Fear regression. Causes of family's anxiety. It is depending upon cultural and spiritual belief of the family. Fear of strange environment in the hospital. Fear of separation. Fear of prognosis of the disease. Fear that the patient will suffer. Fear that the condition is infectious that may spread to other members of the family. Fear of financial expenditure. Societal prejudices. Impact of hospitalization on adult patient. Features of admission that produce stress and pose a threat to self-concept, self-esteem and body image include Psychological impacts on patient Loss of independence and control over events Unfamiliar environment, equipment and personnel Fear of dying Nervousness Anxiety Irritability Emotional liability Anger or hostility Forgetfulness Confusion. Indifference. Withdrawal. Depression. Socioeconomic impacts on patient. Decreased tolerance towards other people. Possible loss of income. Possible effects on employment prospects. Disruption to relationships. Worry to others of significance to the client, often referred to as significant others. Restrictions on the activities of living. Loss of privacy and dignity. Loss of emotional or moral support. Physical impacts on patient. Hush physical effects for example. Palpitations. Difficulty in sleeping. Headaches. Loss of appetite or gastrointestinal disturbances. Painful and or embarrassing tests or procedures. Reaction of hospitalization during various developmental stages. Reaction of neonates. Interrupt the mother and child relationship and family integration. Impairment of bonding and trusting relationship. Inability of the parent to love and care the child. Inability of the child to love the parents. Reaction of infant. Separation anxiety disturbance in the development of basic trust. 4-8 month depression and withdrawal. Interference of growth and delayed development. 8 to 12 month limited tolerance to separation evidenced by excessive cry and over dependence on mother. Reaction of toddler. Protest, frequent crying, shaking crib, rejecting nurse's attention, urgent desire to find mother showing sign of distrust with anger and tears. Despair, helpless, apathetic, anorectic, looks sad cry continuously, use comfort measures like thumb sucking fingering lips and tightly clenching the toss. Denial. Forget the absence of mother concentrate on play and others. Regression. Reaction of preschool child. 
like toddler preschooler will react. They will use defense mechanism like regression, repression, projection, displacement, identification, aggression, denial, withdrawal, fantasy, reaction of school age children, concerned with fear, worry, fantasies, modesty and privacy. Defense mechanism used is regression, separation, anxiety, negativism, depression, suppression, denial, phobia, unrealistic fear. Reaction of adolescence. Concerned with problem of privacy. Separation from peers, family, and school. Interference with body image and independency or self-concept or sexuality. Show anxiety and insecurity in strange environment. Anger and uncooperative behavior. Defense mechanism used are denial or withdrawal rejection and depression. Role of nurse. For infant. Minimize separation. Fulfill basic need. Allow mother during the procedure. Provide toys to relieve tension and loneliness. For toddlers. Provide rooming in. Provide unlimited visiting hours. No punishment to the child. Continue home routine, sleeping, eating etc. Provide familiar toys and choice whenever possible. Provide love and understanding and trusting relationship with parents. For preschooler. Minimize stress of separation. Parental participation in care. Help the child to accept the separation by love and concern. Careful preparation for all procedure and well explanation according to level of understanding. Encourage self-care and personal hygiene. Discourage negative reinforcement. Don't blame child for illness and hospitalization. For school children. Prepare child for elective hospitalization. Respect child need for privacy. Help the child to solve the problem. Explain the procedure and its purpose. Encourage child for participation in self-care and personal hygiene. Encourage parental participation in child care. Allow sibling and peers to visit as the child. For adolescents. Help the family to prepare the patient for planned hospitalization. Orientation about hospital soon after admission. History of illness. Respect for privacy, recreation, and personal preference on self-care food habits. Explain the procedure and gain cooperation. Provide opportunity for recreation, peer relation, interaction with other adolescent and expression of feeling. Guide for health promotion and restoration activities. Recognize and respond to the need of hospitalized child. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.